Okay, everyone, so we've gone from this, which is the Joe Johnson sketch that I um, beefed up in Photoshop and played around with, so it's a bit beefy because the original design was very long and slender, to this. And now she's ready for some paint. So how am I going to paint this? Well, to start with, she's going to have a colour scheme very, very much like that, which is Home One from Return of the Jedi. Um, it's been a while since I've um, uh, finished doing this because I was trying to figure out how the hell I was actually going to do this, but I think I've got it sus now, so it's not really going to be, well I say it's not going to be an issue, it's going to be a fun journey, let's put it that way. Now, a lot of people will say, or a lot of things have been talked about Star, um, painting Star Wars models, and I want to address the elephant in the room, which is this. Now I'm sure there are lots of people out there that are very happy with using this type of product, but unfortunately Star Wars models and miniatures do not look like that. They look like that. It's a completely different way of painting. It's not the way that a normal hobbyist would do it. So how are we going to approach painting this? Well the first thing we do is got to give her a good old primer. The primer I'm going to be using is Alclad Micro Filler Primer Black. And the reason I'm doing it black is because the original ILM miniatures that were full of lights and everything were usually primed in black and the reason that they were done that is because when they did a lighting pass when they were, when they were filming them, if there were any stray cracks or pieces of light where they shouldn't be, it would create a streaky streak on the matte pass. So what they would do is they would paint them all in black, they'd sit in a black room and then everywhere where the paint shouldn't be or the light shouldn't be, they just touch it in. Hence everything's done in black. Now the good thing about black is it gives an immediate shadow to everything. Now the original Home 1 was done in a greyish primer which I will be mixing from Alclad. Uh, a mixture of white, grey and maybe a touch of black, we'll see. Um, and that's the picture that you're seeing on the screen now. Now the image you've just seen on the screen, uh, that is the original Home 1 in the spray booth in the model shop at ILM. Uh, the modeler with the big beard, the Grizzly Adams looking man, that's Jeff Mann and he was the lead modeler on the Home 1 project. On the pickle ships as LIM called them. Um, and around him is George Lucas and various members of the team and they're just discussing, I should think they're discussing how they're going to paint it and the look that George is looking for. Now, I am going to be painting this, not with these, this is a Pash H. S. It has the little um, nut on there, so that's permanently mounted. And these brushes were used by ILM throughout the making of Star Wars. I'm going to be using this. Uh, and this will allow me to get into all these little detail areas, all this little paint. I've already done a little bit on there, so I know it works a treat. And I'll be able to get right in there, get going, get all these tiny little pieces done. This is the Iwata Custom CS, which is effectively in a beefed up eclipse. It's designed for the motor tray, so you have an enlarged paint cup, you have a slightly higher trigger, everything is PTF sealed, um, and it's a really nice brush, and it's virtually indestructible. I'll be using this to get in all the little spaces and all the detail, and then the main big areas will be done with this, which is Custom TH1. Now, I want to have just released what they call the TH2. I don't know what that's like, I haven't tried one, I've heard good things about it, but this is the original custom TH1 and I love this brush. It's absolutely brilliant. Not only can you get in there and do fine detail with it, but it actually gives a spray pattern, which means a nice fan pattern, which means I can go along the top and just pick up those bits really, really nicely. Now, once we've got the black on there, and then we've got the grey on there, and I'll be showing you in a minute this in action, painting some of this black, 
Uh, we're then going to paint all the little greeblies and all the little bits and bobs, all lots of armour plate and stuff like that, and that's going to be done with this stuff, which is rail match acrylic paint. Now, Archive X produced some absolutely fantastic um, modern renditions of the paints that ILM used for the Star Wars movies. And I would have been using them, but unfortunately I only work in acrylic and their acrylic are not available yet, which is a bit of a shame. So I'm using Railmatch. Now Railmatch, they're made by the same company, HMG. They have their waterborne thinner and you just mix it in different ratios. This is probably, until the Archive S turns up, the best acrylic paint on the market and I use it exclusively. It's really, really good. It paints really well, gives a nice scale effect. It's fantastic stuff. Anyway, let's go on the paint. Okay, so here I am. I've got my CS Custom is all loaded. Uh, I've got a set of around about 20 PSI and now it's just a case of just slowly, surely, going around, gently. And I'm not worried about the underneath because obviously I'm going to turn the model upside down. As you can see, that detail is all beginning to blend in nicely. As you can see, I've done that far. It's going to be a long, long while before I finish painting. Okay, so now I've switched over to the Iwata HPTH. And the reason I've done this is I've got all this flat area to do here. And this is really good at hitting all them, getting a nice, good coat on there. As you see, everything else is black. So now all I'm doing is just gently building up the main colour. And this, because it's a fan, and it's not oval, it's giving me a nice, good, automotive look. Filling in all those cracks, all those little imperfections. And as I said, I'll go over this a couple of times. And then we'll just get on with the main coat and the main coat is going to be applied exactly the same way so join me again when I finished 